Hey, hello guys what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go over this wiring for these double timers on this uh, two relay module now I know there's a lot of videos that have pictures and they point and tell you hey this is what you do but nobody really goes over the wiring and to me you know I could pick up stuff pretty quick but a lot of people are like you know this is confusing so what I'm gonna do is just kind of go over how this wires up and uh, and I will put a a diagram so that you can actually see the wiring as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this in real time so that way it's not as confusing so here we have uh, you know we have our two timers and then we have our, our power coming in and it's just daisy chained as you can see and then I've, I've left the wires out of the relay so I can show you where they go after that okay on our first timer this right here is our actual switched power and it is going to go in this first slot which is one and two we're just going to stick that in there and tighten them down okay and on our second relay on our switched power which is this wire right here we're going to go into the second slot which is right here right beside the first one we're going to tighten him down All right. this is our actual power wire that is daisy chained from starting here you know from our power supply well from our solar charger but uh this is the the power to the module itself and it is going to go into this last hole right here okay now I'm going to add a jumper to the wire that I just put in because I forgot it my bad I'm just going to twist these together and stick them back in. And that was the fourth one. There we go. Now we're going to come over on the other side and we're going to go in on the third port which is 10N. And I have another jumper tied to this one as well. We tie these wires together, they're hard to get in there. The other end of this jumper is going to go to the top, which is NO2. Alright, now we're going to go with the grounds. Here's the ground off my first timer, and I'm going, it is going to get a jumper as well. So let's go ahead and get that on there. And tie these two together. And they will go in the third slot, which is DC negative. If I can get them tied together. Okay, now that we got that in there, this will tie to another jumper. Oh, 
which this is just a little maybe three inch piece and this will come on the other side of the board to NC1 it's the last slot on the left let me get this wire bit around so we'll go right here on the end All right, and my jumper leg will go to the third slot down, which is NC2. And tighten that down. And our other two slots here, the number two, which is COM2, and then COM1, these are gonna be our, our legs for our actuator. Uh, your ground's going to be COM1 and your hot wire will be COM2. Okay, our hot wire to the actuator will go in COM1. Maybe. To the actuator. Go right here. This is actually COM1, the top is COM2. I told you wrong. There we go. Alright, now I hook power up to it and I'm going to to switch the switch on manual. I'll have my actuator hooked up and we'll see what we got. That seems to be working. I've got now let me check the closed. My actuator is closing. So everything seems to be hooked up as should be. I hope this makes it easier for you because it, it can be confusing. I know I'm not the best at explaining things, but I figured if you've seen it, it would make it a little a little more clear. Alright guys, thanks for watching.